Welcome to EPG Patshala. This is Dr. Gulfisha Habib from Urdu University. We are going to take up a study of the novel Untouchable by Mulkraj Anand from the paper Indian Writing in English scripted by Ananya Bhattacharjee. The objectives of this module are to understand the life and works of Mulkraj Anand, to understand the themes and issues in the novel Untouchable, to look at uh, the practice of untouchability, to look at the social uh, issues, the caste discrimination and the religious uh, policies prevalent during the time. We will also look at the narrative technique used in the novel and we shall also look at the characterization used by the author through the plot of the novel. Let us first look at the life of Mulkraj Anand. Mulkraj Anand was born in Peshawar in the year 1905. He had his early education in Khalsa College, Amritsar. Then he went to University College, London. He did his PhD from Cambridge University, where he was in close acquaintance with the Bloomsbury Group. Anand supported India's freedom struggle. He also supported the freedom struggles across the other parts of the world, especially Spain during the Spanish Civil War. Anand also worked as a journalist during the World War II, where he served the BBC. Uh, he was also a good friend of George Orwell of the famous novel 1984. It was in the year 1946 that Anand returned to India. Some of the famous novels by Mulkraj Anand are Untouchable, published in 1935, Cooley, Two Leaves and a Bud, The Village, Across the Black Waters, the Sword and the Sickle, The Big Heart. He also wrote seven collections of short stories. They are The Child and Other Stories, The Barber's Trade Union and Other Stories, The Tractor and the Corn Goddess and Other Stories, Reflections on the Golden Bed and Other Stories, The Power of Darkness and Other Stories, Lajwanti and Other Stories, and Between Tears and Laughter. Some of the other works by Mulkraj Anand are Indian Fairy Tales, the Old Woman and the Cow, The Road, and The Death of Hero. Mulkraj Anand also wrote some autobiographical novels. They are Seven Summers, Morning Face, The Confession of a Lover, and The Bubble. Anand was the founder of the literary magazine termed Mark. He was also a member of the International Progress Organization. He delivered a number of lectures on prominent Indian leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Rabindranath Tagore and tried to bring forth their contribution to India to its progress and views on humanism. Bulkraj Anand was also conferred with the prestigious Sahitya Academy Award for Morning Face in the year 1968. Let us now know something about the novel Untouchable. Untouchable by Mulkraj Anand is one of the most famous novels in Indian fiction. It deals with the life of an untouchable, Baka. In the preface, E.M. Foster writes, and I quote, Baka is a real individual, lovable, thwarted, sometimes grand, sometimes weak, and thoroughly Indian. Even his physique is distinctive. We can recognize his broad intelligent face, graceful torso, and heavy buttocks as he does his nasty job or steps out in artillery boots in hope of a pleasant walk through the city with a paper packet of cheap sweets in his hand." Unquote. The novel Untouchable depicts a, re uh, a realistic picture of the downtrodden people of the times. Baka, the protagonist, stands as the representative for the downtrodden and the oppressed class. Uh, along with Baka, the other characters in the novel suffer due to the fact that they belong to the lower caste. The novel also presents a very bleak picture of the surroundings and of the dwellings. I quote, The outcast colony was a group of mud-walled houses that clustered together in two rows under the shadow both of the town and the cantonment but outside their boundaries and separate from them. There lived the scavengers, the leather workers, the washermen, the barbers, the water carriers, the grass cutters and other outcasts from Hindu society. These sections of people suffer because they are considered by birth to be outlaws by certain other sections of society. Mulkraj Anand 
brings to limelight this artificiality that prevails in the society especially through the depiction of a character like pandit kalinath who preaches good things in life but remains corrupt the novel untouchable is the story in the life of baka on a single day in the course of the novel we find the events unfolding on one single day and through this one day we see how baka faces humiliation at every step of his life uh, baka by profession is a toilet cleaner but this is something that he doesn't uh, wish to do the lower caste people of his village like in other parts of india were restricted from even drawing water from the wells because it was considered by the upper caste that the water would be polluted if the lower caste people came near the well or touched any of uh, uh, touched its surface baka was also subjected to mental and physical torture by the upper caste people not just baka his sister sohini also suffers during the course of the novel uh, sohini uh, goes to the well to draw water but as we've already told you she herself cannot touch so she waits for somebody from the upper caste to come over and fetch her water pandit kalinath comes over invites her to his home under the pretext of getting the courtyard clean and tries to molest her when sohini shouts for help and attempts to move away pandit kalinath turns the table on her by claiming that she and untouchable try to touch him baka arrives on the scene remains helpless and sends his sister away later he goes to his father and complains to him that people treat them like dirt because they clean the dirt and he wonders for how long this will go on he also hopes that once they stop cleaning the dirt their situation will also change that same afternoon baka goes to attend the wedding of ramcharan's sister baka was earlier in love with her but could not marry her due to their class difference later he goes to play hockey with uh, havildar charit uh, singh at his place during the course of the match a young boy gets wounded and baka goes over to help the boy but he faces humiliation because the boy's mother levels charges against him that he an untouchable has touched the boy from the upper caste baka feels extremely frustrated and dejected and returns from there because he faces humiliation all around him in the course of the novel we find mulkraj anand presenting three alternatives to overcome this problem of untouchability one conversion two education and three technology to show how conversion can uplift the outcast we have the character of colonel hutchinson who invites baka to convert to christianity so that he no longer suffers as a lower caste the theme of education is presented through gandhi and his focus and uh, importance on education for the outcast the harijans as he used to call them about technology we have another character uh, iqbalnath sarshar a young poet who tells baka that with the advent of the toilet flush system he as a lower caste may no longer have to clean toilets in the homes of other people let us now move on to the characterization in the novel let us first look at the protagonist baka baka as you've already been told is the central character he has a very strong physique he is an uh, outcast he belongs to the lower caste his job is to clean the toilets but baka himself is extremely clean and particular about cleanliness to the extent that while he goes about doing this dirty work for others he ensures that even his sleeves do not get dirty while doing this job baka is a representative of all the underdogs who suffer in society because of various prejudices in the course of the novel we are also introduced to baka's brother rakha and his father lakha lakha is the jamedar of the sweepers in bulandshahar he belongs to the generation which is submissive to being oppressed by the upper caste he considers himself to be uh, inferior to the others and after the death of his wife he is left with the responsibility of bringing up his three children baka rakha and the sister sohini uh, baka's brother rakha does not clean the toilets 
he does not do any menial jobs nor is he as good looking as baka sohini is baka's sister she is presented as a very slim slender woman with a very self like uh, figure she plays a very important role in the novel because through her anand tries to project the corruption that prevails in the upper caste hindu society uh, sohini goes about her work takes up her domestic responsibilities and does her daily chores in the course of the novel as uh, we have just pointed out she is molested by pandit kalinath charat singh is another character in the novel he is a havaldar and belong to the 38th dogra battalion he is a very kind hearted person he plays hockey unlike the other orthodox hindus he has no caste prejudices and comes out as a very kind hearted and caring person Colonel Hutchinson is one of the English characters in the novel. He dresses in a very funny manner with a mix of the western and the Indian outfits. He speaks to Baka and tries to convince him to convert to Christianity. Hutchinson strongly believes that conversion is the answer to overcome the problem of untouchability in India. Iqbal Nath Sarshar is another character in the novel. He is a young poet with revolutionary ideas. He impresses upon Baka the advent of the toilet flush system and he tells baka that once this is introduced people like baka may no, may no longer have to clean toilets in the homes of others we shall now look at the themes and issues in the novel untouchable let us first look at the practice of untouchability which is the main theme of the novel mulkraj anand's main purpose in writing the novel untouchable is to depict not only the practice of untouchability that prevailed in indian society but also to impress upon the indians the need to do away with this evil practice he writes and i quote as a writer i have tried to drink from the sources of love in people especially poor people and to give them my own exuberant passion my own personal gain has been that much inner happiness has come to me through the very act of creative writing which has sustained me in the face of tragic events of a time because in absorbing life one understands its disequilibriums that is why i have always considered literature and art as the instruments of humanism speaking about the plight of the untouchables em foster writes quote the sweeper is worse off than a slave for the slave may change his master and his duties and may even become free but the sweeper is bound forever born into a state from which he can't escape and where he is excluded from social intercourse and the consolation of his religion unclean himself he pollutes others when he touches them these so called untouchables live in very squalid surroundings we get a description of the congenial place in which they live i quote the absence of a drainage system had through the rains of various seasons made of the quarter a marsh which gave out the most offensive smell the people of the untouchable caste were washermen grass cutters watermen sweepers barbers and others who lived in mud walled cottages huddled with each other and are socially isolated from the rest of the village the plight of the untouchables is brought out through baka we are told how baka one day accidentally touches an upper caste person and that person gets infuriated and uses a number of swear words against him calling him a uh, swine dog dirty dog and so on everyone present on the scene merely look on and nobody comes to the help of baka baka feels extremely frustrated and humiliated he falls down on his knees not knowing what to do it is only when a muslim tongawala comes on the scene that is rescued from this humiliating situation baka is so shattered by this situation uh, by this incident that he outbursts i quote why are we always abused the sanitary inspector that day abused my father they always abuse us because we are sweepers because we touch dung they hate dung i hate it too that's why i came here i was tired of working on the latrines every day that's why they don't touch us the high caste untouchability is one of the most evil practices that prevails in india even today in some socially backward communities some of the prominent indian leaders like mahatma gandhi and dr b r ambedkar fought against this uh, 
evil and tried to bring people out of uh, untouchability. Both of them, uh, Mahatma Gandhi and Dr. B.R. Ambedkar, have opined that no society can make progress while some of its people are oppressed and treated as untouchables. In the course of the novel, we have Gandhi appearing on the scene and convincing the people to put an end to untouchability. He says, and I quote, The fact that we address God as purifier of the polluted souls makes it a sin to regard anyone born in Hinduism as polluted. It is satanic to do so. I have never been tired of repeating that it is a great sin. I don't say that this thing is crystallized in me at the age of 12, but I do say that I did then regard untouchability as a sin. Now that we've looked at the practice of untouchability, let us move on and look at social realism. Let us see how religion and caste discrimination prevailed in society and how Mulkraj Anand depicts this in the novel Untouchable. As you've been already told, the central character of the novel is Baka and the novel presents the events on a single day in the life of Baka. Baka suffers a lot of humiliation at every step in the course of the day. The, a packet of cigarettes is thrown at him by an upper caste Hindu. Uh, when he is hungry, a chapati is also thrown towards him as one would throw food towards a dog. His experience with a Hindu upper caste in the marketplace shows how casteism and untouchability is deeply seeped in the Indian uh, society. When Bakha accidentally touches the upper caste, he shouts, getting extremely infuriated. I quote, Why don't you call you swine and announce your approach? Do you know you have touched me and defiled me, cockeyed son of a bolic scorpion? Now I'll have to go and take a bath to purify myself. And it was a new dhoti and shirt that I put on this morning. Bakha is humiliated and helpless through this all. But there is nothing that he can do about it. Later, he vents out his frustration saying, I quote, all of them abused, abused, abused. Why are we always abused? Because we are sweepers. I am a sweeper. Sweeper untouchable. I am an untouchable. Religion plays an important role in the novel because we see how it affects the lives of the characters in the course of the novel. Colonel Hutchinson, whom we introduced to you a little while ago, tried to convince Baka to convert to Christianity so that he overcomes the problem of casteism and untouchability that he was suffering from. On more than one occasion, when Colonel Hutchinson impresses upon Baka the need to convert, Baka feels that the religion as practiced by his ancestors was good enough for him and that he should not convert to Christianity. I quote from the novel, The old Sahib had wanted to convert them to the religion of Yesu Masi and to make them Sahibs like himself but that he had refused to leave the Hindu fold, saying that the religion which was good enough for his forefathers was good enough for him. Anand captures the predicament of the untouchables and presents the harsh reality before us. It is indeed sad that the untouchables are denied the very basic right of even touching water. The novelist in a very powerful manner renders the plight of the untouchables before us and shows us through social realism how the curse of untouchability prevails in the Indian society. Anand also criticized the people of the upper caste in the course of the novel. He tries to show how, using religion as a base, people have divided society into hierarchical orders and then misused these for their own benefit. Mulkraj Anand successfully does this through the depiction of the character Pandit Kalinath. Pandit Kalinath, as we've already uh, told you, is an upper caste, one who strongly believes in untouchability and does not like to be touched by an untouchable. But it is important to know how, to satisfy his own carnal desire, he touches an untouchable Sohini and when she shouts out for help, he puts the blame squarely on her, saying that as an untouchable, it was she who had touched him and defiled him. Through this episode, Anand tries to bring forth to us the harsh reality that not all religious preachers are good or non-corrupt and that we should not have blind faith in 
caste discrimination. Through the episode of Gandhi and by bringing in Gandhi in the novel, Anand has not only tried to tell his readers how untouchability is a sin, is an evil, is a crime, but has also tried to tell his readers how untouch untouchability needs to be eradicated from the Indian society. Gandhi comments that the predicament of the untouchables is both a moral and a religious issue. He says that untouchability is, quote, the greatest blot on Hinduism, unquote, and regards it as satanic to think that anyone in Hinduism is born as an untouchable. Gandhi holds the view that untouchables have to, quote, cultivate habits of cleanliness, unquote, and be free from unhealthy habits such as drinking liquor or gambling. He also says that they must, quote, cease to accept leavings, that is leftovers, from the plates of high caste Hindus, however clean they may be represented to be, unquote. Gandhi regards all Indians as equal and expresses his desire that he wishes to be reborn as an untouchable in his next birth. He addresses the untouchables with a new name, Harijan, elevating them to the status of the people of God. And he considers them to be the cleaners, the reformers of the Hindu religion and of the Hindu society. Gandhi's words influence the untouchables and instill a ray of hope in them, including Baka. But Baka, quote, could not understand it all. He was calm as he walked along, though the conflict in his soul was not over. Though he was torn between his enthusiasm for Gandhi and the difficulties in his own awkward, naive self, unquote. The closing of the novel appropriates Baka's inner conflicts between enthusiasm and naivete. This is a consequence of what, of what Baka uh, experienced through the course of the day. Each event during the course of the day left an indelible mark on Baka. Baka's interaction with the poet Iqbalnath Sarshar leaves him with some hope for the future and gives him the feeling that in the near future, he and others of his class, the lower caste, need not have to clean the toilets and that the exploited class will no longer remain exploited in the future times. Now that we have looked at the issue of social realism, religion and caste discrimination in Attachable, let us see how Mulkraj Anand employs narrative style and its treatment in the novel. Mulkraj Anand follows the stream of consciousness technique as widely used by Joyce, Wolf and others before him. Uh, we can say that uh, uh, the treatment of Baka, the central character, is uh, psychological and the stream of consciousness method has been employed in unraveling not just the events during the day but also probing deep into the mind of the central character. The thoughts of Baka are fragmentary and isolated just as one would find in the stream of consciousness. The novel has a dream sequence too where we find Baka dreaming himself as being surrounded by monkeys. Through this dream sequence, Anand tries to tell us how Baka is afflicted and how he suffers and how even in his subconscious mind, he is still haunted by the bleak world around him. There are also a number of uh, flashbacks used in the novel. There are also a number of symbolic images used in the course of the novel. The recurrent images are the images of the sun and the river. The sun is the symbol of creative and vital force of life and is seen as a contrast to the lives uh, of the people, people like Baka and the others in the village. The image of the river is symbolic of the anguish and grief of the people as the river suggests the flow of existence which is past change. Nothing can change for these people. This is their life and this is the life that they are doomed to live. The novelist also uses a number of words, idioms and phrases in English that are representative of the Indian lingo of the Indian lifestyle. Some of the words are used in Hindi and Punjabi unchanged words like Girjaghar, Jalebi, Babu, Harijan, etc. Some of the abusive words on the other hand have been translated like son of a pig, swine dog and others. The aim of uh, Mulkraj Anand uh, through this technique was to retain the flavor of a Punjabi village to the extent to as much extent as possible and make it as realistic as possible. 
Before we close, let us quickly recapitulate our study of the novel Untouchable by Mulkraj Anand. Mulkraj Anand, as I've already told you, was born in Peshawar in the year 1905. He had his early education in Khalsa College, Amritsar. He went on to Cambridge University from where he did his PhD and became uh, closely acquainted with the Bloomsbury group and was also a friend of George Orwell. The novel Untouchable uh, revolves around the happenings on a single day in the life of the central character Baka. Baka is an untouchable. His father Laka, his brother Rakha and his sister Sohini live in a village where untouchability is prevalent. At every stage of his life, we find Baka and people like him being humiliated by the upper caste Hindus. We also have an episode where we find Gandhi emerging on the scene and impressing upon the people the need to do away with untouchability and uh, addressing the untouchables as Harijans and expressing his hope that he be reborn as an untouchable. Through this novel, Mulkraj Anand tries to depict the evil practice of untouchability as it was prevalent not just in some parts of India but extensively through India. He also attempted to bring about an awareness among the Indians and to show to them ways and means of coming over untouchability and ensuring that every Indian leads a dignified life. The major themes and issues covered in the novel are the practice of untouchability, uh, social realism, religion and caste discrimination. We have looked at the narrative uh, style, we have looked at the technique, we have looked how stream of consciousness is employed in the novel. We have looked at the use of dream sequence, we have looked at the use of flashbacks, we have looked at the use of the local lingo to put forth the ideas and make the novel more realistic. With this, I hope that the novel Untouchable is clear to you and that you will be able to answer the questions that follow. You are also provided with a suggested reading list. Thank you for staying on with us.